Okay, welcome, welcome to episode 45 of Long Way the Chosen. My name is Anthgator, and you are watching a scientist rescue operation. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a doozy, uh, that's for sure. We've got... We've got a four-man mission here. All right, what's what's happening here? So we've got all right, we got the evac. Uh, it's, okay. All right, that was not a very helpful zoom in game. Thank you. Uh, okay, so there's our truck. Um, how do we want to do this? I think we may want to come all the way around on this side. To be honest, just avoid them being inside the building and stuff. That may be our best bet. Um, so, let's see what we can do. We do have uh, Gauntlet Mark II, uh, which is kind of what we're counting on getting us through this. Okay, yeah, we do want to keep going around this guy. Um, and uh, we've got some Psy stuff to do uh, a little bit, and um, our, our Grenadier with a laser laser stun gun and that's basically everything we've got um well that's not true we have ultimate here with uh, the arc blade who probably is going to be our number one killer on this mission that arc blade is some serious damage and if we can keep our engagements small enough and keep things controlled well enough um the arc blade hopefully can carry us through the rest of it Okay, so we do have another tower right here, so we do have to come around the front of this building. We can't go all the way over, and uh, that should be fine. Um, let's have you come around this way, and we'll bring Salad all the way over here. Almost same idea, except this would be right here. And let's see. Ultimate, I can run you right over here. See if we see anything around the corner of this building here. Got movement here. We don't see anything. Okay, we're hearing something over there. Let's see if we can hear what it is. Is that a? Dead? I don't. I don't think I heard any sounds off that. Okay. On my way. All right, we're gonna move Seafox up. Uh, I don't see anything. So at this point, I think we're going to head back around to the side. Okay, so you can run all the way over here. Momo. Get it over here. All right, Zelda, you want to show us what you see? Okay. We're looking, looking pretty safe at the moment. Moving. Haven't found anything yet, so 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 who knows what what could be on this mission at this point? Just wait till I find the Muton Centurion quadruple pod. Okay, uh, it's uh, Mark II Vipers, Nauseous. Uh, I think those are Vipers. They're the regular base color. Mark II, I can tell by their health. Do I want to just? take them out I think maybe I do I don't think I can really afford to try and avoid them because so much of my damage is melee I think I just gotta take out what I can when I can so alright so I, I could try and burn one of them uh, but I think we're just going to get an overwatch uh an overwatch reveal here uh, this isn't going to be a super impactful overwatch reveal I'm hoping that the laser stun gun does uh, a lot of my work for me um, but it, you know if they just move up and then over around this way or something uh, maybe they won't see uh, it's pretty unlikely they won't see Fox, I guess <laughs> I kind of I kind of positioned myself where I pr practically guaranteed that they will spot me uh, all right, let's go move ultimate over here. See if we can see something else. Oh God! I've got enemy movement here. Okay, what is that? That is a 
advanced sentry, and I think I saw a purifier right there. I think it was only a tier one purifier though. Um, okay, so the purifier will not be fun to deal with uh, with this team, not at all. On my way. We're gonna pull uh, ultimate back here and use him as a relief effort. Yep, they came right towards me. It's kind of what I thought they would do. Um, they're right out in the open. They're not too far away. Hopefully the SMGs will hit. Get a little bit extra damage in there. Two, four, and looks like a miss from Momo. Okay, but hey, that one's down to six HP. Has an Overwatch. Oh my gosh. Okay, and an Archer and Trooper activated as well. Okay, so I think we're gonna try an insanity here and then a soul fire on this one, hoping the soul fire can roll high. All right, four to six, right? So six damage there, yeah. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I'd love to get a mind control. Come on, Momo. Come on, Momo. It's set in. Is that a disorient? Is that what I saw? Disoriented. Okay. Okay. And now we'll soul fire this one. Come on, hit for six, hit for six, hit for six! Six damage! Yes! Okay, that's gonna be a big help. Target eliminated. Um, alright. So now I have that overwatch over there to deal with, which I can't quite use a frag for but what I may do is go ahead and burn my rocket uh, this could just straight up kill this mech I doubt it though um, this is okay I have one okay this will be four enemies out of my 10 to 12 this is a third do I really want to use my rocket on this right now I know that there's also a purifier and trooper so it doesn't seem like enemies on this map are overall too difficult. I have to break this overwatch though. This is this is my problem, right? And I don't know that I have a real good way to break this overwatch otherwise. So let's just hope, uh, hope the rocket works. Nice, you also killed that guy. What a beautifully... That, okay, that was nice. I approve. Well done. Alright, so this guy is now disoriented. I might, honestly, uh, move Zealot up and frag that archer uh, to finish him off. And let Cloud come in here. Ow. Not the greatest odds of... Uh, Finishing this guy off, huh? Especially with when you consider grazing. I only have the two soldiers left here. Hmm. I'm very sad that I can't quite hit this archer with this frag. He's one tile away. Um so my problem with the archers, right, is it's guaranteed damage. There's nothing I can do to stop it from from hitting me. Uh, if if I leave it alive, um, it's just gonna drop its its you know little explosion thing, and that does what? How much damage? Um, three to six. That's that is just really something I don't want to deal with if I can avoid it. So, I don't want to run all the way over here because I feel like there's definitely another pod over there, right? Because this is four enemies, six right there. That's only half the enemies on the map. Definitely going to be more stuff over on this side uh, that I haven't encountered yet. But I also don't want to run here, because for one, I'm flanking myself to the Viper. For two, uh, 
if I do spot that stuff up ahead up here. Oh my gosh, how do I want to do this? 60% just to shoot it down. I feel like I have to move sell it up. Absolutely. This is this is the move I have to make. No. Oh, and it's a pot of 3. This is exactly what I was hoping would not happen. Okay. Uh well, finish that guy off. One of them is definitely going to run over and flank Zealot here. Alright, uh, and now at this point, oh my god, okay, well, I want it to be inside the truck, but actually the place I put Zealot there is going to ruin that, so I guess Cloud's just going to run over here, please, high roll, kill it, just kill it, you, oh my god, you have one HP, okay, well it's disoriented, it has huge red fog, hopefully it can't do too much, Purifier is going to double move up, Trooper's going to move up and shoot in the low cover and hit for one. Okay, I can handle that. You're going to shoot at Zealot and miss 44%. Point blank. Beautiful. And there's like one more thing over there, right? Okay. Um, Alright, I think... What I want to do is move Momo up someplace where I can try a, a an insanity. If she could move up to a place where she could flank this guy, she would be the perfect I'm candidate to finish off that Viper, but she can't. Okay, 81% on the trooper, 71% on the purifier. Let's go for the trooper. It's just a better chance of getting a mind control this is I, I I'm really counting on getting a mind control at some point in this mission okay well we panicked panicked it um, okay so cloud can slash and then move away so I think that's the best bet there because I still have three to Five more enemies on this map um, and actually I think it's a 10 to 11 roll I don't think it's a 12 enemy roll if I remember right okay yep slash and got him okay That's it. So what I may do, well, let's see. Actually, I think this is probably, oh man. So that guy's panicked way back there. I've got this guy who's going to run up and try and shoot me. Uh, that guy is a, yeah, a guardian. That's what I thought. So Seapox has really nothing he can do this turn. Um, okay. What I want to make sure I do is move far enough that this purifier still can't flame either of us. It's, if, if he has a seven tile shot, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So any movement forward up here would hit. Let's see, so if I was back up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He just have to be able to run up to basically like there and then he could burn me. And what is his mobility? His mobility is 10. 
Okay, so I may be able to reduce that enough that he can't end up taking. Um, you know, this is gonna just have the shred here. It's just, well, with booster quarters, I guess it, it might end up hitting hard. We'll drop it right on him. I was thinking about maybe destroying his cover instead, which we did anyway. Wonderful. So now, I think, yeah, we'll just leave Cloud right here, 75%. We'll take double shots here. Crit for three. He's up to, he's down to one HP left. Uh, 63%. I could move forward a little bit and get a little bit better of a shot. Um, I think I will do that. 71%. Come on, let's get him. Let's get him. Nice. Okay. So Pure Fire is dead, you're panicked. That Guardian now needs to move forward and he's gonna shoot at Seapox. Oh, he's just gonna stand still. We have reinforcements coming. Okay. Let's move. We're gonna move Momo Leading around the vision. side of this truck. Hopefully this doesn't activate more. It did not. Okay. And this guy is just completely stuck standing still. Very weird. Let's go ahead and dish out a little bit of damage to him. Okay, hit for five. He's down to four HP. Um, So I think I'm going to sit here, uh, reload and overwatch with Zealot. Now, my big problem is that this guy is no longer panicked. Uh, but I can move Seapox over here. Okay, so I, I can take two shots here with Seapox and Cloud. That makes a step forward. Let's, let's do it. 71%, come on, just get him, just get him! Okay, you hit for minimum, no worries, no worries. Um, now, ultimate here. Yeah, I think we just run over here and take uh, the shot. Okay, I'll go. Against the flanked guy, 75%. Hey, second crit, hey, you, you would have one shot that guy. Uh, okay, whoa, whoa, what is happening to my mouse there? I don't know where my mouse went. Okay, All now right. we're gonna bring Zealot over here and... Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a frag on this guy. It's a decent chance of just killing him. Uh, the reinforcements aren't gonna do anything this turn. Hey, okay. So we've killed everything around us. This is seven of the... I think 10 to 11 enemies, so there's one to two more pods. Hopefully it's just a pod of three. Rather than two pods of two. Here we have a, a trooper and a stun lancer. I can deal with those, no problem. They dropped right in front of us. Beautiful. This is exactly where I wanted them to be. I could not have asked them to be in a better spot, to be, to be perfectly honest. See, that stun lancer steps up. I mean, it's, he's right here. We can... We can wipe these guys out easy peasy. Um, let's see, so we got seven to 11 on the Stun Lancer. Let's go ahead and do that. Got him. Check it before you get too close. Uh, Zealot now. Uh, yeah, we'll just hop right over here. 100%, 3 to 6, and he's dead. Okay. Reinforcements were easy. I am not going to move forward yet. At least not really. Momo's going to step over here. And Overwatch. Okay. Now is when I will start moving forward again. And, ah! We have a drone. Okay. I'm uh, going to miss it. 31%. Fox miss 29%. Wow, not very good odds there. 
And you're going to disorient Momo. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, okay then. Uh, I can guarantee this thing is dead with Cloud here. This will probably activate the last pod. Uh, let's do it. And... Drone is dead. Pod is not activated. Okay. Seapox, let's move you up. Uh, Zealot will move you up. And Momo now. I guess, actually, the smartest thing is just a short move up and a reload while she's disoriented. Um, okay. So I've killed ten enemies, two of those reinforcements. I think there are two more enemies on the map. It's, it's one more pod. A pod of two or a pod of three. Uh, where would they be? Um... The drone was over here. Everything was right here. I feel like they are the ones guarding the evac. Um, let's continue moving Seapox up a little bit here. And oh, we're going to move Zealot all the way up to there. Alright. Do we see them? Do we see the new pod? Not yet. Okay, but we do have reinforcements coming next turn again. Let's sure move thing. Zealot right over here, see if we can see this last pod. Uh, we don't. Uh, let's go ahead and hack. Um, this, he's not the smartest one to hack. Or do I want to overwatch him for the next pod and bring... I want to bring ultimate all the way down. What's, what's, I mean, 18 hack versus 3 hack, it's... I mean, yeah, it's better odds, but does it really make that much of a difference? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and hack it. So I think it's small intel cache and large intel cache. 3% and 2%. Let's go for the 2%. Pocket. Not even close. Okay. Okay, and we have not actually seen the VIP, so we haven't activated them yet. Okay. Alright, let's move Seapox up and Overwatch. Well, before I overwatch, I want to make sure we move everyone else to a position where we haven't activated anyone. Okay, overwatch, overwatch. Not great overwatches. Looks like they're dropping in the same spot as the last uh, reinforcement pod. This pod will be uh, a little tougher, right? It's three enemies now. Uh, two sentries and a rocketeer. Hopefully they're all still tier one, although it looks like... Yeah, I think so. Uh, nope, one is tier two. Oh, we have the weird little bug there. Okay. Hit for one. Miss. Hit for two. Okay. Uh, let's see. What would be the best way of dealing with this? So I can definitely cut down any one of these that I want to. That Seapox could come over here. Let's see. Two, three, four, five. I think Seapox can burn the both of them. We go one, two, three, four, five. Yes, Seapox can burn both of them. Let's do that. We haven't burned anything yet. We had this tier two gauntlet so far. We barely made use of it. But here we go. This might just kill them both. Killed one, burned the other. They're dead. Let's just cut down this Rocketeer. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna bring the zealot right here. We found the VIP. Uh, the VIP can just get out. We're gonna just get out. This may activate the last pod, uh, but I just want this VIP out and safe. And this is a success. VIP secure and in position for evac. Our 
VIP successfully evac to K Overwatch. I'm gonna bring Momo down over here and Overwatch. I don't know where the last pod is. Probably down over here, something like that. Um, okay, so Seafox can't quite get out. I'm just gonna run him all the way down. Uh, Ultimate could get out if he wanted to. Uh, but we're just gonna run everyone, everyone down this region. And Overwatch with those who can. Overwatch, Overwatch. And reinforcements again dropping right next to us. Uh, this time it's gonna be a heck of a reinforcement pod. Yeah, Priest, Stun Lancer, Rocketeer, Trooper. Um, but it doesn't matter. Uh, whatever happens to them. Oh, they're actually further back than I thought they were. Uh, they, we don't even see them. If reinforcements dropping again next turn. But who cares? Leaving to position. Because we're out of here. That is a successful, a flawless victory. We've killed 13 out of 21. So, now wait a minute. Why is it showing 21? Uh, it was 10 to 12 enemies. We killed five reinforcements. That meant we killed eight. That meant there were still... There were still four more enemies on that map. Oh my gosh, how did I avoid them all? I don't know, but I'll take it. Woo! Well, a short mission, but a challenging one, but a perfect one all at the same time. Ho ho ho! What a beauty, what a beauty. We have a new scientist! How wonderful. Alright. Uh, let's see. So we got three promotions out of that too. Cloud can get that sweet, sweet combatives. Yes, please. And let's see. Um, a s okay, smoker would not be bad. Uh, I think that's honestly, that's probably the best one to go for with him. I don't really know what I said I was going to do with him before, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, fire in the hole. Ever Tim. Uh, let's see. I could get damn good ground or concentration. Actually, that's probably a really good option for a technical. Um, using an SMG. Uh, I really can't see any of the rest of these being worth waiting for so much. Uh, well, cyclic fire. Uh, it requires both actions though. I mean, how often are you gonna cyclic, be able to be in position to cyclic fire with a, an SMG? It's just, we'll take, uh, we'll take concentration. It's fantastic. And all right, Momo already was ready to promote, so it's not really a surprise. Kesarin, uh, Jitjirawat. Welcome to XCOM. Thank you very much. Uh, so, okay, this was at four days. Uh, showing three days in here now. I was not going to admit it to Shin, but there is one thing I miss um, more. Fascinating. Than my lab I think, though, we're gonna drop I don't know where one of these the guys meat. into. We're up to six scientists now? Goodness gracious. Uh, we're gonna drop one in for uh, reducing that, that time. Our, our size are very low on uh, the ability to train. So let's let's focus on that for just a little bit. And Silbeck is just for four days now. I mean, it's not, it's not really that different. Um, okay, well that was exciting. What have we got coming up next? Let's see. Uh, so let's see. Strength four, strength five, strength six, uh, and I think we're still. We only have any. 
liberation done in New India. Yeah, we haven't done any here in um, East Asia or New Arctic. I think New Arctic is probably where I want to go focus now that I have 10 rebels on Intel. Um, it's probably my best bet. I do have to remember, actually just remembered, I almost forgot, right? We've got this data tap to go to. Um, so I think we're gonna go do that right now. Heading course for East Asia. Let's go see who we've got, who we can, who we can do things with here. All right, let's tag in Ripper's Ruthless Resistance. Um, let's see, so Scallops and Ripper are bond training. I am probably just gonna take them out of that. Bond, bond training is great, but. I, I think I really want the both of them on this mission. Um, yeah. In fact, let's go do that right now. Yep. Um, could put me and Calvin in here, which I think I will do. I think I can uh, avoid bringing me and Cal. Well, uh, let's let's gear up the mission first. Let's do the mission honestly, and then we can go. Uh, you know, figure out who else, uh, what else I'm doing there. All right, alloy plating, med kit, alloy plating, probably just med kit to be honest. Uh, let's see. Now we've got Quatlex here with that mag rifle. We've got Garn with the laser lance. Uh, is that really everyone that's in Ripper's Ripper's resistance? Uh, no, but Lorelai is still negative trait recovering. Swerve is. Gravely wounded. Kylie is uh, getting repaired. Um, and let's see. Okay. I think honestly we might end up bringing both um, sparks here. We're definitely bringing Shiva. Shiva performed fantastically before, um, and is hurt at 11 HP. Oh well. Uh, and then we've also, I think we're just going to bring Kylie. This is exactly the type of mission that these uh, sparks are great for. So we're going to bring both sparks. Our heavy, heavy railgun. Yep. Um, okay. Let's see now. Let's see. Can I build the Ionic Ripjack? Yes. Let's go ahead and do that. Awesome, that's now seven damage and has a small chance to stun. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. So who are the last two I want to bring? Um, you know, I've got Scallops and Ripper, gonna be phenomenal. I've got Quatlex here as my Overwatch specialist. Garm, two sparks. Who else have I got? Kaiju might be a great choice. Yep, let's bring Kaiju. Get that sweet, sweet assault damage in there. Uh, and then another ranged person would probably be good. You know, let's bring in Zakir. Um, once again, like I was saying, with the Sparks, I mean, this is a great mission for sharpshooters. Uh, so let's do it. Okay, I don't have any spare predator armors. Uh, why are you wearing resistance warrior Kevlar armor? What are you even? Okay. Um, I definitely, definitely need a few uh, predator armors here. Let's build a couple. Let's build at least two there. I mean, these these last a long time. They they they're good for a very long time. Predator armor, predator armor. I don't really need to give Predator Armors to the two sharpshooters. Pretty unlikely that they're going to get shot at. Um, and then that's everyone that is uh, not a spark or a sharpshooter. Uh, and now, let's see, what else can I do here? I could build an upgraded arc thrower for Kaiju, but I don't really feel like I need to. 
Um, oh, I don't have an arc blade for you. Do I have the ability to build more arc blades? I do. I've got four built already. Um, do I have one on someone else that I can take away? Like... Ultimate, you were borrowing uh, scallops in the first place, if I remember correctly. Anyway. Alright, who did I take off for that? Who, who, who the heck did I just take out of the squad? Uh... Uh, wait a minute. Take Garm out? There he is. Okay. Alright. Give me that arc blade. Yes. Um, Can I build a Mark II Hollow Targeter? Is that something I've researched yet? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Um, I think I will build a hazmat vest here instead of this med kit for scallops. He's exactly the type of soldier that really, really needs that. And I think we're good to go. Well, I mean, I guess I can equip people with more stuff, can't I? Um, yeah, sure, why don't you bring a smoke? Um, you know, why don't I build uh, either AP rounds or tracer rounds for you? Let's build AP rounds. And, okay. Now, it's been a minute since I've taken a look at all these things. Like, I've got this Elite Expanded Mag. I've got all this all this good stuff. Uh, does anyone need those? So you've got Advanced Auto Loader. That's probably better for you for this mission. Uh, you have a regular scope. Do I have better? No. I have a Elite Stock? No. Um, so... Sure, you can have the Elite Expanded Mag. There's a care. Advanced laser sight. Nope. Auto loader. Why don't you take. Hmm. Clip size is already four. Auto loader. There's going to be plenty of shots there. Hair trigger. Let's go. Advanced hair trigger. Yep. Okay. All right. I think we're looking good now. Advanced hair trigger. Advanced scope. And advanced expanded mag. Beautiful. Okay. Advanced suppressor. Elite scope. And advanced auto loader. Maybe I can replace. Nope. Advanced suppressor with. Advanced hair trigger. How about that? That should be good. Okay, I think we're good. Um, and this will be the squad. Here we go. Double spark, double sharpshooter, Overwatch specialist, and scallops and ripper, and kaiju assault. Okay, that'll do it. Uh, the music completely stopped. It's ominous. But I guess that's a sign. That's a, that's a good time. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, 45 episodes down. 
And here we go, we're off to save some more rebels and beat down uh, the assassin, I believe. Um, so, uh, catch you next time. Good luck, Niners.